big steak on there and this sausage we'll put this one here and remember last time I'll get you to put these grab that sausage and put that on your plate yeah, that one. that's it yes look at you <laughs> Personality disorders are the least talked about. Most people think of those who suffer from a personality disorder as crazy or dangerous. BPD, or borderline personality disorder, is a personality disorder marked by unstable and inconsistent moods, behavior, and functioning. This often results in unstable relationships, impulsivity, anger, depression, and anxiety. BPD is a personality disorder where you feel as though you lack control, creating frustration, it is thought to be triggered by a traumatic event in early childhood, though there is no direct correlation. Researchers believe that those with BPD, due to the possible traumatic event, experience different structural changes in the part of the brain that controls emotions and impulses. However, it should be noted that this shows up in people who do not have BPD, which makes BPD even more mysterious and unknown. <laughs> Oh, honey, how was work? Good. What would you like for dinner? Oh, oh. Mom! Mom! <laughs> Just a second, honey. I need to take care of something really quick. What? Can you fix this for me? Listen here, you ungrateful little brat. You're gonna start showing your loving mother a little respect. Ow, ow. Let's go. Ow. Outside! <laughs> Thanks for ruining my important phone call! Didn't do anything wrong. I hate title. being bipolar. It's awesome. Bi it's not an opposite. It's not I hate being bipolar. It's awesome. It's actually, it drives more of how you really feel. It doesn't do an opposite thing. So I think it's important for us to have conversations about, you know, open conversations about mental health, uh, especially with me being black, because we never had therapists in the black community. We never approached, like, taking medication. And I, I think it's good that when I had my first complete blackout at age five, my mom didn't fully medicate me because I might have never been Yay, and there's times where mm -hmm. at least I'm happy that I know, like even like for this interview, I knew I wanted to stay in a calm state because by the time I got to TMZ, I was ramped up. So what was awesome is that the world got to really experience someone in a ramped up state. And that's when you get these comments that just shoot out, like almost like Tourette's. Because you, you have highs and lows. And when you have a high, mm -hmm. you're on a roll. And when you have a well, low, you're well, not. Well, there's some cases of bipolar where people go low, I'm, I'm one that uh, goes high. I like, like Michelle Obama said. So you don't high. have extreme periods of, <laughs> of depression? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Because I just say it. I'll say it on real TV, like, oh, I thought about killing myself, and then the thought is gone. There's so many thoughts that you can't see, and you just see this whirlwind. And you want to be able to reach in and pick and pull out one to be able to look at it, but they're moving so fast, you can't reach in and pull. My past defines me. This is who I am. someone hurts you so bad. It stops hurting at all. How could you ever understand where I come from? Even if you ask, even if you listen, you do not really hear or see or feel. You don't remember my story. You haven't walked my path. You haven't seen what I've seen. 
It's perhaps the most stigmatized and misunderstood psychological disorder of them all, even among psychologists. Maybe because it's pretty rare, affecting about 1% of the population, schizophrenia causes more anxiety in the media, in the public, and even in doctors' offices than any other mental illness. As a result, its sufferers have often been shunned, abused, or locked up. And among the many fallacies that surround the disorder is simply what it means. The word schizophrenia literally means split mind, but contrary to popular belief, the condition has nothing to do with a split in personality or multiple personalities. The term refers instead to what's sometimes called a split from reality. Multiple personality disorder, now known as dissociative identity disorder, is a totally different type of condition, a kind of dissociative disorder. And these two are shrouded in misconceptions, partly because they were the subject of probably the greatest psychological hoax of all time.